Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we'll be talking about some good competitive physics preparation resources by ranking them on a tier list. The, the criteria we will be ranking them on is quality, cost, and enjoyment. So let's get started. And let's begin by talking about the two AOPS classes that solely focus on physics. The first one is the F equals MA AOPS problem solving series. And this class helps you prepare for the F equals MA exam, the first contest in the US physics competitive, competitive series that is only on mechanics. Every class, there's an interactive session combined with problem sets after each class. Although I haven't taken the class, I have been told by others that the class is worth its cost of $340. But it's not needed to make use of it's not needed to make use of it, as there are many other cheaper alternatives that can also help you prepare if you have the motivation. And because of this, I'll put AOPS FMA courses in A tier, somewhere in the high A tier. Okay, the next class we're going to be talking about is the physics root class. And this class helps you with both F equals MA and use of exams by covering concepts all throughout physics. Overall, this class is really enjoyable with the handout interactive session and homework problems every other week. Furthermore, their mock FMAs and USAFOs are high quality and representative of the actual exams. Um, but the cost is pretty high of $795, but the benefits definitely outweigh the cost in this circumstance. So um, I'll put this also in the top of A tier, but probably um, in front of AOPS FMA only because it helps with USAFO as well as FMA. So something like this. Okay. And um, another great class that helps you teach physics is, uh, that teaches you physics is Everace. Everace Academy is a nonprofit organization that teaches kids all sorts of competitive topics from math to physics and biology. This class is held over the summer where each day for a month, they will make quality informational handouts with problems from a variety of resources that are representative of competitions. Furthermore, the physics class has a mock FMA contest at the end with original problems that truly test your problem solving skills. The class is also free, meaning that anyone can take it. And personally, this helped me a lot and was a major reason why I qualified for USAFL in the first place. And the only downside I can think of is that it only covers mechanics. And because of that only downside, it's not going to go in the top, but like somewhere in mid low S tier. So probably right there. Okay. And there's also many other programs that I haven't taken that also teach you physics, like Alpha Star and Awesome Math. And since I haven't taken these classes, I can't give you a personal opinion on how, on how the classes are, but I've heard from others that these classes are decent, but they're, they're not worth the cost, and AOPS classes are definitely better than them. But it depends on the person and how hard you want to work, and if you've already taken those classes, maybe you're more familiar with how they work. And since I haven't really taken the classes, and um, I've heard that they're not really that good, I'm going to put other programs such as Awesome Math and Alpha Star in B tier. So I'll put them right here. Textbooks are also um, a great resource. Okay, so now let's talk about past USAFOs and FMA papers. And these can be found on the AAPT website for free, which is basically just the website where they administer the physics exam. And it's perfect for figuring out how questions are like on the USAFO and FMI exam and learning how to use problem solving in physics by just looking at the solutions. And the only downside is that you actually have to know physics before you can take these past exams. So it doesn't really teach you physics, but it just helps you with problem solving. And since um, they don't really teach you physics, I'm going to put this in low S tier because it's an accurate representation of the exams while also being free. And I'll put this right behind Everest, since Everest does basically what past exam papers do, except it actually teaches you the concepts. Now, textbooks are also a great resource. The first of which is Introduction to Classical Mechanics by Morin. And there are two books that he wrote. One of them teaches you 
all the concepts of classical mechanics that commonly appear on the EFMA and USAFO exam, but also goes more into depth on topics like relativity and angular momentum. And the other one is a problem book that provides numerous problems for each topic, both multiple choice and free response questions. So combining these two with past tests make them a great source of qualifying for USAFO. And also these books aren't that expensive, only costing around $30. So I'll put these along with past youthfuls and FMOS in the end of S tier, but only a little behind them because the problems aren't exactly like those seen in FMO. So um, to many HRK, um, which is called Physics by Halliday, Resnick and Crane, is considered the most vital textbook for physics preparation. Um, but, all, but there are many people that have done successful in contests without reading it. And this book is normally what everyone starts with, whose usage of wide variety of problems and information solidify your understanding in physics. It covers all areas of physics, in going from mechanics to optics, electricity, magnetism, thermodynamics, and even some more complex subjects like quantum mechanics. And personally, I enjoyed the book very much as it helped me advance in competitive physics skills as well. It also doesn't cost that much, it only cost around $50, which is quite cheap since it has been modified by a past physics coach. This makes it an easy S tier. And the only reason I'm going to put it ahead of Everest is because Everest only teaches you only teaches you mechanics, not anything else. But the physics by Halliday, Resnick, and Crane teaches you all of physics. Okay, physics by Giancoli. So this is just um, a physics book similar to HRK, except that physics by Giancoli um, doesn't use calculus to teach. Instead, HRK uses calculus to teach, but Giancoli doesn't. And the downside to this is that it makes it difficult for um, for you to conceptually understand the con the topics. And also, it's not that useful for useful because in useful calculus is needed in order to be in order to do well in it. But since I haven't read a book, um, I can't give an honest opinion. But I have been told from others that it's a great introductory book with um, quality problems if you don't know calculus. So I'll also put this in a tier. And there's also a lot of other textbooks like Electricity and Magnetism by Purcell and Concepts in Thermophysics by Blundell that go deep into one specific subject. And these books are great if you want to learn more about um, a specific area of physics that aren't really talked about in HRK that much. But if you want to study for competitions, which is the point of this video, they aren't that useful. But they do explain some topics significantly better than HRK. For example, Purcell explains a lot of EM electricity magnetism topics much better, and so does um, concepts in thermophysics by Blundo, which teaches you well thermodynamics. So I would definitely recommend other books uh, for you to read other books as well, but it isn't really that necessary. So I'll put this in the end of A tier behind of Jane Cole. And in addition to these books, there's also a set of handouts that have been shown to be helpful to many Olympiad students. And these handouts are all written by John Calda. They cover kinematics, mechanics, thermodynamics, electricity, magnetism, and optics. And each handout teaches you a specific subject with problem solving ideas and tips along with difficult problems from past Olympiads. And these handouts are pretty high quality and completely free online. And they're all in English, so you can go check them out. Because of this, I'll put the handouts in low S tier, right behind Everest, only because it doesn't really help much for FMA because the difficulty is much larger than FMA but it helps greatly with useful. And the last important resource is a website and Discord server run by the same group of people. And this website um, hosts an annual competition called OFO with problems ranging from hard FMA level to IFO, as well as a mock FMA competition each year before the actual contest. 
and they also have a problem archive and a few other things to do on their website. And the Discord server has a bunch of intelligent students with every day um, they have a problem they put that's similar in difficulty to those seen in Yusufo and Ifo. And also it's a place where you can ask questions and work together to solve problems in many textbooks. And overall, the, the website and the physics Discord server are great resources. But um, since it's relatively new, I would say um, they don't really have that much to it. So I'll put it in high tier, um, in high A tier. I'll put this right after G and Q. Okay, so these are all the resources. As I can, sh as you can see, none of them are really bad resources. These are all good resources. And if you have time, you should do you should do all of these. Um. So yeah, that's it for today's video. The links of each resource are in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all.